We do, we inspect all the cargo coming into Hawaii from out of state and we also look at inter-island cargo. Uh, we're also monitoring the passengers coming in from out of state uh, that fill out the egg declaration forms. Um, in the cargo facility here, we're looking at uh, high-risk produce that's coming off the air cans from the airplanes. Um, and we're looking for invasive species, insects, diseases not found in the state of Hawaii. NKO as we refer to them, not known to occur in the state. Um, shipments with NKO insects or diseases will either be destroyed here or sent back to the mainland. That's the shipper's uh, choice. Uh, you know, biosecurity basically is a, a set of measures or um, activities that help to prevent the uh, introduction of pests or invasive species into the state, at least for PQ. Um, each um, different agency will have its own kind of set of goals for biosecurity, but for us, we are a prevention agency, so for us, that's what we do. Uh, this is a problem that we've had for years, ever since Hawaii became connected to the rest of the world through travel and trade. Um, we've had an issue with species coming in and impacting our environment in ways that our native species are ill-equipped to deal with. Um, but this is a good time for us to move forward uh, in part because the situation is very dire in terms of the impacts of things like rapid ohia death or little fire ants or albizia, but also because we're at a good point um, within the state for realizing what the problem is and what some of the potential paths forward are. We have a great set of agencies at the state, federal, county levels that are willing to work together uh, to find solutions that cross sectors and aren't uh, just kept within one specific agency. So I think we are at a point where the science and the um, agency will is there to really make some big strides these, forward. These actually look like small uh, California red scales. We do random sampling, um, we do um, agricultural material essentially, so plants, um, live plants, produce, cut flowers, uh, non-domestic animals, uh, microorganisms, and soil. So those are the main things that we do regulate. So uh, any of that stuff being imported into the state is um, going through us for inspection. Pests or invasive species affect everyone, um, whether they know it or not. I mean, there are certain things that are like uh, readily identifiable, things like uh, little fire ant or rapid ohia death, that, you know, if they were to be established everywhere, that would, that would affect everyone, whether they knew it or not. And, you know, as a regulatory agency, we can only do so much. And we need, you know, to partner up with other agencies to ensure that things like rapid ohia death or little fire ant don't spread statewide or continue to spread statewide. We do risk assessments a few times a year to determine which commodities are high risk versus medium risk, low risk. So we're looking at all the high risk items, not 100%, but uh, maybe 10% if it's a big shipment or 100% if it's just one box of a high risk item. But we are looking at all high risk items. One of the things that's really challenging about working with invasive species is that it's such a broad concept. The federal definition, uh, which we use here in Hawaii, is a species that does or has the potential to impact the environment, the economy, or human health. And so we're not just talking about species that fall under Department of Agriculture's mandate or Department of Land and Natural Resources mandate. Um, DOH is a major player for making sure that human health risks are mitigated. Uh, University of Hawaii is a major player for research and outreach into the community. Department of Transportation uh, and uh, the Department of Business and e Economic Development and Tourism, since invasive species have a huge potential to impact our tourism industry and economy.